Next up on the stage, we have Anniston High School. Anniston competes in 4A Region 6. The region opponents are Asheville, Center, Heflin, Jacksonville, White Plains, Hoax Bluff, and Aniana. Representing Anniston High School today are head football coach Rico White, and his players are senior linebacker Caleb Jennings and senior wide receiver safety Jordan Caldwell. Coach White, we will begin with your opening remarks. Uh, first of all, good evening. I'm glad to be here. Uh, it's a great year for football. Uh, that's what we do. That's that's what we're here for. And um, uh, the kids have worked hard this summer. And uh, I think we have built a great brand at Anderson High School. And we're just looking for things to go in the right direction. Um, a few things. Uh, we had 13 graduate last year, seniors. And this year, we will have nine returning. And we'll have uh, seven nine returning on defense and uh, seven returning on offense. And we have some young guys that really worked hard and I uh, think they'll fill the shoes and do a good job. So I'm open for questions or whatever you like. Do you have the 15 and up prediction again this year? Absolutely. I uh, tell you what, I um, that's that's what, you know, a lot of people, they joke and they, they say, well, Coach, why would you predict that? The biggest thing coming into Anderson last year was to change the mindset. Um, the previous years, we had had some rough years, up and down, fluctuating with the records. Uh, in order to get to where we need to be, you had to change the mindset and predict high standards. So um, I think it worked well because we ended up being 6-4, and four, we went to the playoffs, and the team we lost to went to the state championship. So that wasn't bad. But I think so, uh, this year we are really put work in. Uh, we're looking forward to a great season. How, how much did the mindset change in one year? Uh, absolutely a lot. I mean, the biggest thing coming in as a new coach is to get the kids to believe in your system, the things that you believe in, and making a uh, setting a great foundation on a different brand. Um, and I think the kids really bought into what we're trying to accomplish at Anderson High School. To, to Caleb and Jordan, could you speak to that? How much, especially how much making the playoffs last year helped, I guess, help that mindset along? Um, I think it helped us a lot because we've been, it's been rough. And then with Coach, we had Coach White in middle school, so like we knew was, we knew how he coached and knew how we knew how his mind was. So we just believed in him and kept going on. Yeah, when Coach White first came in, we knew that we uh, wanted to be the best team in the state. And um, when Coach White came in, his mindset transferred to our mindset. So we already had him in high school, like Caleb said. And so when he came over, everybody just bonded together, and we got good teammate chemistry, and we came out. Unfortunately, we didn't win state, but like Kobe said, we went to the first round, and the team we lost to went to state. So it was a good step up from our last season. I think uh, Rico last year had the most sacks in the state history. Yes, absolutely. Is that, is that still the same? Uh, idea going forward for this year to defense first. Yeah. Definitely. Um, <laughs> yeah, definitely. You know, uh, great teams, you, you win off defense. Don't fool, game, uh, fool yourself. If you can't stop people from scoring, it's going to be tough to win. Offensively, we struggled last year because it was a new system and a building process. And unfortunately, we had some injuries during the season. But uh, I definitely think it will balance out this year. I think the offense will be more productive. And uh, definitely the defense will always rise to the occasion. We put a lot of pressures and a lot of emphasis on defense, and we're doing the same thing on offense this year. So we look forward to it. You laugh. What? Why? What? Go ahead. Uh, like last year, our defense was really strong, and we our defense came and competed. And this year, I feel like it's going to be the same way, but it's going to be even more aggressive. Why? Why so? Just because you're older, or why? <laughs> no, sir. Because last year we know what it felt like to lose the first round. We don't want to do that again. How has the offense progressed from last year, and especially at quarterback and running back? Well, definitely um, just finding more depth. And uh, actually, uh, we're stronger, much stronger. Uh, last year when I got hired, uh, we lift weights from June to July. But um, we have had a full year of getting prepared. So we, I believe we're going to play just as physical on offense as we do on defense. That's my goal. I believe in being physical. and. Um, and that's, we'll be able to do more things that I like to do. I played running back in college. Last year, we had to spread. We had to throw, throw, throw. But I think it'll balance out this year more so than anything. 
But I, I truly believe we're a stronger and more physical offensive team as just as well as defense. And, and who's going to be you know, carrying the ball for you, picking that up for you? Well, I got four guys competing for it. I can't exactly say who's the front runner. Uh, this summer, you know, you don't wear a pass. You don't know. But once we uh, put the pass on, we'll definitely know. We got we got some prospects and we look forward to it. It's just a matter who step up and really take control and be a lead on the offense. Jalen, Coach White and how he, his attitude is, does he put pressure on you to be leaders to all the boys coming up? And then you too, Jordan. I mean, is that something that he directly looks at you guys and says, I, I want this, or is this something you're wanting to do? Yes, sir. He expects us to be the leaders because we're the seniors. He expects us to have everybody in control. He expects us to do make everybody do what they're supposed to do. Yeah, he expects us because we have the most uh, playing experience in, on varsity. And the way he uh, expects us to lead, pretty sure it's going to be a good season for us. And I feel like that's off the field as well. Yes, yes sir. sir. <laughs> Definitely. That's, that's just something we are. Um, uh, I tell you what, I start uh, from ninth grade on up. Everyone leaders, you know. I don't, I don't always say the seniors are the leaders. Everyone is our leaders, and uh, they are self-governing, doing things the right way. Uh, like I said, that's part of the brand. That's the standard. We don't believe in dropping below that standard. Uh, it's a prize for it, you know. In life, if you don't do things the right way, it's a prize for it. So we teaching them on and off the field how to be good citizens and do things the right way, not just winning. You know, we, everybody want to win. But it's also you can win off the field as far as how you conduct yourself. Uh, the city of Anderson, you, you make the stakeholders better. You make the community better. You make everyone better because one day you will be in charge. I'll be that guy in that wheelchair. I want you to do right. So I preach that to them, and they, they, they believe in me, and I believe in them. So things go in the right direction. How do you see the region shaking up this year? Um, without a doubt, this, to me, one of the toughest regions in 4A. Uh, especially in the north. Um, I can't sit there and say, hey, this team going to be this and that team. Everyone is set to win. And we got some great opponents, and we look forward to it. I mean, I, I love playing against good teams. I mean, that's how you become better. I mean, we, we look forward to it. I, I can shoot Colts Bluff, uh, Jacksonville, even Ashford. Everyone is, have gotten better. So it, it, it's going to be tough just say, hey, this – We'll win or they'll win. We're just going to show up and play our best. Any further questions? Yeah, real quick, Coach, what seven on sevens have you had for the first Okay. Um, we uh, visited some colleges, did seven on seven. We went to Jacksonville State. We went to Alabama State. Uh, we have went to um, several other schools where we just, uh, like, OTAs and different things compete and We've been to several. We, we, we did put in a lot of work. Like I said, our kids competing against each other, you really don't understand um, how good you really, really are until you get to someone else. I mean, we found out last week we went to Gaston City, um, the week before. We went to Gaston City, and those guys are cellmate school and we 4A. We got a chance to see the speed, the different, why it's a cellmate school and why we 4A. But at the same time, my kids competed. That's what I was looking for. So I was excited about that. but. We, we got some repetition in this, this whole uh, summer. Any other questions? Coach, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. All right.